What is up team? Welcome back to work and welcome back to day two of the tempo program. We got an upper body workout in the books for today. Let's hop into the warm up and I'll walk us through our first circuit. We're going to start off with three inchworms into a push up into a pike. Start at the bottom of your mat, keep those legs pretty straight, reach down, you're going to walk out to a plank, full push up, pike those hips up, get a nice stretch, drop back down to your plank. Walk back in. We're going to go three times through. Then we're going to go feet wide, toe touches. So kind of rotate, touch, and look up towards the ceiling. Rotate, touch, get a little bit of stretch in that core, torso, upper body. We're going five each side. Then we're going 10 internal, external overhead reaches. Squeeze those shoulder blades back as far as you can together. Rotate, reach all the way overhead. Ten reps. Then we're going ten big arm circles forward. Ten in reverse, ten crosses. Open up that chest, get those shoulders nice and loose. And then 10 crosses. And we are gonna jump into it. So, our first circuit up today, we got 50 second intervals. Each movement we're gonna do for 50, 50 seconds, and then we got 25 seconds of rest in between each movement. Our first movement is a one arm dumbbell row. So you can do this on a bench or you can do this just standing. Our tempo on this is three down, no pause at the bottom. Hold on, we got somebody hopping in. Is, uh, so, sorry guys, our tempo is three down, no pause at the bottom, explode back up and a one second hold at the top. So we're gonna go right arm for 50 seconds. If you're doing a standing, you're gonna plant left hand on left knee, or left elbow on left knee, and you're gonna drive back towards your hip. One second hold, and then you're going one, two, three. As soon as your arm gets fully extended, explode back up for a one second hold. One, two, three, and drive back up. If you're using a bench, you're gonna put left knee, left hand. Big focus on driving back towards your hip and not towards your shoulder, so that's bad. This is good. Keep that elbow tight to your side. I'm gonna go 40 on this. You can go a little heavier, again, with this tempo style training this month. Try to go a little bit heavier and just really control that movement. So we're gonna go 50 seconds on the right arm, switch 50 seconds on the left arm, and our third movement is a dumbbell pullover. So you can do this on your back, on the floor, or you can do it on a bench. On a bench, coming up, we're gonna grab triangle style, the dumbbell. Head off the bench, arms have a slight bend. Fully extend overhead, reaching as far back as you can, and then pull back over and lock out the elbows. Slight bend, pull, nice stretch, and drive up, lock out. If you're doing it on the floor, that dumbbell can just tap the floor and then come back over. If you have two light dumbbells, you can do them one in each hand and go extend over and then back over. Those are our three movements, team, 50 seconds each. <clears throat> I'm gonna go 40 on the pullover and 40 on the row. You guys have any questions? Let's do it. We got a 10 second countdown like always. 40 sec we got a 45 second rest in between rounds too. Right arm rows, team, for 50 seconds. One second pause at the top. 
and work. Explode one. One, two, three. Big stretch, drop. Think about squeezing that elbow tight to your side. You should feel that muscle right underneath your armpit, squeezing and contracting that lat muscle. Explode up. Hold slow. Five. Three. Two. Switch. We got 25 seconds. We're switching arms. So a little longer rest break here on these. Start setting up. Hand back towards the hip, let it shift forward at the front. Drive back. Five seconds, team. Left arm, three, one, work. As far as you can, you should feel a nice stretch down your pecs, your lats, and you're trying to use the chest and the back muscles to pull that dumbbell back over. Start setting up. Three, two, one, work. Three seconds down. Sorry, it's four seconds down, guys. One second pause. I didn't tell you the tempo on this. Pause the bottom for a second. Drive back up. One, two, three, four. Pause for one. Drive. seconds rest. I left out the tempo on that last pullover. Sorry guys, four seconds down, one second pause, and then explode up. We got a 45 seconds rest, we're back to the top. Rose with that right arm. 20 seconds, team. And if you can go a little heavier, go for it. A dumbbell row is probably one of your stronger upper body movements. So challenge yourself if you can. Seven seconds, right arm rows. In three, two, one. Up, one second, pause, three down. Switching arms. Woo. Good 
Last go, we're coming up, team. In five, three, two, one, work. Tempo is everything here. Don't rush it. Be honest with yourself. chest and back working. If you're on a bench, I like to grip the bench with my thighs. Three, two, one, work. Jump up to 50s on my rows. Try to go a little heavier if you can. If you've been controlling your weight, a little five pound bump, a little 10 pound bump if you can. I'm gonna try to go 50s. Here's our last round through. Got a couple minutes rest coming up after this. How are we doing? Ten seconds, team. Five, three, two, one, right arm. Let's work. Two more, good reps. Two, one, and rest, team. 25, left arm. Ten seconds, team. <laughs> Last one on the left. Three, one, work. Two more good reps. We can pretend 
Three, two, one. Rest, pullovers, last one. Five seconds, team. Three, two, one. Let's work. Four seconds down. Pause. Drive. Keep those slight bend in those arms. Don't do a tricep extension. <sighs> Two, one, rest. Woo! Three minutes rest, team. We're on to circuit B. All right, team. We got the exact same format coming off this second circuit. 50 on, 25 off. Again, you're gonna use the bench if you have one. If you don't have a bench, that's totally fine. You can do it on the floor. We are going single arm dumbbell chest presses, narrow grip. So you're gonna set up on the bench or on the floor. We're gonna start off on the right arm. Narrow grip means my hand is palms facing in and I'm bringing the dumbbell down right below kind of the lower pec line. Other hand is out to the side to balance you and you're driving up. Our tempo here is four down. One, two, three, four. A one second pause at the bottom, explode up. It's gonna look something like this. You can shift over a little bit. If the dumbbell's in your right hand, you wanna shift a little bit to the left side of the bench. So that right side isn't getting pulled off. One, two, three, four. Get as deep as you can. That's still comfortable. One second pause. Drive up, lock out. Two, three, four. Deep stretch, drive. I'm gonna go 40 on this and give it a try. We're gonna go right arm and left arm. If you're on the floor, you come down and your elbow is gonna tap the floor. You're gonna leave out that pause for a second. You're gonna let it stop. So there's no momentum and then drive back up. So we're going 50 on the right arm, 50 on the left arm. And then from there we're going dumbbell shrugs. So you want a heavier weight here. I'm gonna go 40 or 50 in each hand, we'll see how it feels. And all you're doing is saying, I don't know. So you're shrugging up, one, and then you're coming down, one, two. The key here is a three second hold at the top. So you're gonna come up, one, two, three, and then one, two down, and then explode back up. One, two, three, slow down. From the front, drive, squeeze, one, two, three. I'm gonna go 40s on that to get a vibe for it, get a feel. Those holds are gonna change it a little bit, so go a little lighter than you think. Those are our three moves, team. Right arm chest press, left arm chest press. Four tempo, one pause at the bottom, shrugs, two down, three second hold. We got 12 seconds, team, get set up for those chest presses, and let's get after it. Right arm first, shift a little bit to the left. Two, one, explode up, four down. One second pause, drive. We're looking for that full range of motion, as low as you can get comfortably, drive. Two, 
two, one, rest. We're going with that neutral grip, guys, so that palm is facing you, directly in line with your body, no turn. Elbows tucked. 10 seconds, team. Left arm. Same thing. Four, two, one. Let's work. Four seconds down. Feet wide, keep them planted. Squeeze that lower body too. Keep that whole core tight. Take your time, seven seconds. Two, one, rest, 45 team. So assess that a little bit, how did that feel? Did it feel pretty easy on both those movements? Up the weight. Today is not a uh, high heart rate style workout, we're trying to get that stimulus through the weights. Challenging your strength, challenging every position, full range of motion. Let's get set up. I'm gonna stick with the 40. Maybe on the last round I'll jump up. Right arm, single arm presses. Get set up in eight. Three, two, one, work. Focus on that right chest muscle, pec, doing the work. Two, one, rest. Switching arms. Fifteen seconds.
Come on. Keep with that tempo. Two, one. Rest. Shrugs, team. Thinking about forties. Twelve seconds. Five. Two. One, two second hold. Or three second hold, sorry, two down. Get a big stretch, drive. Ten seconds, team. Two, one, and rest. All right, final round through. We have a chance to up the ante a little bit on the chest presses. If you're finding it a little easier, you don't have a heavier weight, or you don't want to go a little heavier, we're gonna hold two dumbbells. We're gonna press both up to start. You're gonna keep the left arm locked out at the top. All the tension on that chest and you're gonna move just the right arm. On our second set, when we switch the left arm, we're gonna do the exact same thing, both up, left arm here. That's only if you're not finding this challenging or you don't wanna go up in weight. I'm gonna try with 240s. In eight seconds, team, we're back to right arm presses. Three, two, one. Let's work. Keep that pec squeeze, elbow locked out on the left side and keep that tempo. Seconds. Last set, and we got a nice three minute rest coming up into our third circuit. Three, two, one, work. Three second hold, two down. Full stretch.
<sighs> Come on. 20 seconds. Two, one, and rest. Woo! Three minutes rest, team. We're on to circuit C. Only two circuits to go. We got one more little upper body circuit and a core circuit to finish it off. All right. So, final circuit, uh, final upper body circuit. Exact same format, 50 on, 25 off. We're starting off with an overhead press. We're gonna to try to do this a little different than normal. We're gonna call it a posture overhead press. So I want you to go a little lighter than you normally would on a press. I may go 20s. The key here is dumbbells come up to your side, but instead of having them on your shoulders, you're gonna to try to bring them as far back as you can so that if you're looking from the side, the ends of each dumbbell are basically sitting on either side of my shoulders. My dumbbells are facing my head. My chest is as tall as I can get. My shoulder blades are backing together, and you're gonna press up overhead and try to come right back down to that position and let those dumbbells sink in. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of your shoulders and chest. We're trying to open up the chest. Our tempo here is a two second pause at the bottom. One, two, really try to let the elbows sink, press, and then three down. One, two, three, right back into that sinking stretch. So from the side, it looks like this. I'm trying to just open up, get that chest as tall as possible. That's our first move. Second move, we're going to reverse dumbbell flies. You're going to want to go a little lighter on these. We're bent over at the hips. I'm going to go 12s. Palms, our pinkies are facing towards the ceiling. And we're going to come a little bit in a V angle. So a little bit behind the body. So like this and the pinkies are always facing towards the ceiling. Slight bend in the elbow, but instead of coming straight out to the side, a little bit of a backward angle. You really wanna feel it in the back of the shoulder here, so we're working the rear deltoid. Our tempo here is a one second pause at the top, trying to hold it for a second, and then two down. Up, pause, two down. It'll be harder to control the tempo on this, so just do your best to control on the way down and try to hold for a second at the top. Our final move is a dumbbell skull crusher. I'll probably go 20 on this. We're going a three second descent, two second pause at the bottom, explode up. So it looks like this. You can do it on the bench, you can do it on the floor, it doesn't matter. We're going one, two, three, one, two, lock out. Three, one, two, lockout. Oh, ran out of time. Any questions about that, guys? Are we good? I'm gonna do mine on a bench. You can get a little bit more range of motion on the bench. I'm gonna go um, 20s on the presses, fit, uh, 12s on the reverse flies, and 20s on the skull crushers. We good, team? Let's do it. We got a three second countdown. Let me grab my 20s. We're doing those posture presses. Get that chest open. Three seconds down, two second pause at the bottom. And work. Get that chest up tall. Drive. One, two, three. One, two, hold. Drive. Feel a good stretch. Squeezing those shoulder blades back and together. Keep those palms facing your head. You should actually feel this in your upper back a little bit, especially at the bottom because you're squeezing back and together. This is a good. This is a bit of a mobility drill and shoulders at the same time. Two, one, and rest. Should feel kind of nice after all those pressing movements, like the chest has opened up a little bit. Nice stretch. Reverse flies coming up. Bend over at the hips, 45 degree angle. 
come back at a slight angle. Squeeze the back of those shoulders. One second pause and work. Two down. Don't worry about how high you get, just get up as high as you can without jerking. Keep those pinkies on top. Four, two, one, and rest. Skull Crushers, team. Three seconds down. Two second pause at the bottom. Lock out. Only moving at the shoulder elbow joint. Three, two, one, let's work. presses coming up really fight that chest tall on the outside that dumbbell your forearm should be perpendicular to the floor so you're here don't let the dumbbells come too close don't let them get too wide while you're nice and tall this forearm is vertical elbows tucked forward chest tall drive we got 10 seconds team Pick up your weights, posture presses. Two, one. Vertical forearms, deep stretch, drive. Three down. One, two, drive. Those dumbbells sink down as low as you can get. Palms facing your head. Ten seconds, team. Two, 
One. Press. Woo! Keep thinking that we got skull crushers. Could have done something, but now I'm left with an Keep all the tension on those triceps when you hit that pause. No way at the bottom. You you Five. Start setting up. Two. One. Work. One. Two. Three. Pause for two. Explode up. Lock out those elbows. Feel the back of the arm tricep working. Team, let's run it back one more time. Go around to the final circuit, which is just a short four circuit coming up. <laughs> These are more uh, isolation type exercises. So if you're struggling and having a hard time with the tempo or the, the positioning, drop the weight a little bit. Ten seconds. Get to work. Got a nice rest day coming up tomorrow. Three, posture presses, chest tall, and work. Skull Crushers team. Make them count. All the intention is on the back of the arm, the tricep here, doing all the work. Get set up. Three, two, one. Let's work. Three down. Two second pause. Slow. Lock out hard at the top.
two, one, and rest. <sighs> Woo. All right, team. Final circuit, a little core action. Finish strong. Clear your space, you don't need anything except your body weight in the mat. We got two movements. 30 seconds each, only 10 seconds rest between each movement. 15 seconds rest per round. Three rounds through. Our first move is a hollow body hold for 30 seconds. So we're on our back. This is the gymnast move. You guys are watching the Olympics. We're going hands overhead, feet together, toes pointed. You're basically trying to sit your chest up a little bit and keep those heels off the ground. Create a little arch in the lower body and hold here for 30 seconds. An easier variation is to go hands down to your side, crunch up, get that low back flat on the ground, and hold. An even easier variation is to bring one leg in and then alternate. Whatever you gotta do, you can go overhead, one leg, alternate every once in a while. Pick the modification that suits you. Hands overhead and leg straight is the hardest. Hands down is the second easiest, and then you can start bringing legs in if you want. That's our first move. Second move, after 10 seconds rest, I don't know why I got back up, is a lying leg lift. Hands at your side, feet together, hips come up, nice and slow down. We're going a three second descent, one second pause, drive back up, get those hips up. One, two, three, hold, back up. Feet never hitting the ground. And you're trying to get those hips up. We're going to get those hips up towards your sternum. A modification is knees bent, hips, slow, one, two, three, hold, drive back up. Those are our two moves, team. 30 seconds each, 10 seconds rest between each movement, three rounds through, 15 seconds rest between rounds. You guys ready to roll? We're going to cut the timer short here. Let's do it. We're going to start in at the 40 second mark. We got 10 seconds. And we're going to roll back right back into a hollow body hold. I'm going to start out in the hardest position and then modify if needed. Three, two, one, and work team. 30 seconds, hollow body. Straighten those legs, hands overhead. 20 seconds. Get those toes pointed down. My legs are cramping. Woo. Eight seconds. Don't get those feet too high, Sergio. Get those things down there. One. And rest for ten. Feet are together, guys, and feet are low towards the ground. Lying leg lifts. Three, two, one. Work. Up three seconds down. One, two, three. Pause for one. Drive back up. are going to get lit up here too, so modify if you need to. We're back to the hollow body hold. In five, two, one, and work. Drop those hands if you need to. Bring one knee in if you need to. Alternate, you should feel all of those lower abs. Woo! Leg lifts. <coughs> three, one. Let's work. Three seconds down. One second pause. Drive back up. <laughs> oh, Woo. I'm going bent knee combo. Get those legs low. Two, one, rest, 15 seconds. 
Oh god, that combo is brutal. Oh. One more round through team and we are out of here. Three seconds, last hollow body hole. One, and work. Short breaks are okay. If you're feeling it in the low back at all, take a little rest and right back into it. Ten. Hang in there, team seven. Three, two, one. Press. Oh. Lying leg lifts, last one. Two, one, work. Four, two, one, and done. Nice work, team. Day two in the books. We got a rest day tomorrow, like usual. Nice work, guys. We'll be back with a lower body workout on Thursday. Same time, same place, your living room. Thank you, guys. I will see you Thursday. Have a good one.